Hey guys, this is the Batwave, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Goku and Trunks versus Black Goku and Zamazu. Where I'm going to do a live anime reaction right now, and also I'm going to do um, you know some critical points that I'd like to point out, and also you know give uh, my viewers a good talk about um, Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Goku Super Saiyan Blue versus Black Goku, and how Zamazu is interfering, and Trunks has a way of beating him as well. I think this is my own theory, but also I'm going to be talking to you about a lot more in depth analysis of it so just stay tuned i mean just stay uh bear with me on this episode guys um i apologize for not posting so many videos as frequently i've been you know getting a really nice job offer and i've been kind of um you know just accepting it and kind of researching it every day but it doesn't mean i'm going to stop these videos i'm going to just post them just as frequently i've just been a little delayed right now so i apologize for that anyways guys like and subscribe to my channel today this is the bat wave and let's begin so basically goku black and Goku are fighting, and Zamazu appears, and Zamazu, Zamazu just really wants to take control and just kill the Goku that he knows that you know that that kind of pissed him off like 17 years ago or just a while ago, right? And then Trunks, he wants to verse um, Black Goku and just kind of beat him because he's destroying his timeline, he's destroying his future, he's kind of breaking into a lot of buildings and barricading through many many uh, different types of. Uh, battlefields and you know just really hurting the civilians and the people that are around Trunks' timeline he obviously killed uh Trunks' mother which is Boma before Trunks left to the future to find Goku and Vegeta so it's just crazy to see and let's just watch the video I'll show you a little clip of it I'm not gonna watch the whole thing because I, I don't have time for that and also this is someone else's video so I'm gonna give him credit his name is Dragon Ball Super previews and more. So I guess it's from Dragon Ball Super, whatever it is. Or someone else just trying to like just all about Dragon Ball Super. So I'm going to get started. So let's just watch this video for a little bit and continue. See, as you can see, Goku and Zamazu are just fighting right now. Obviously, Zamazu has some hate from the past about that and Goku's just like struggling to like figure out who this Zamazu is because the Zamazu has like a smirk on his face he's actually putting up and fighting with Goku normally back and forth and this is not even the Super Saiyan form oh god oh god let's see what he's gonna do guys I'm putting no subtitles just because let's just make this exciting and let's just see what happens damn damn they're going right back at it Wow, he was just completely overthrown by that, too. Those beams don't look that strong, though. Oh, damn, he just came out of nowhere, too. Black Goku with the sword. Wow, well, Zamazu and Black Goku are just like teaming up on Goku right now. Literally destroying his confidence. As you can see, Zamazu has his Potara on the side as well, the green Potara. And then Black Goku has his little sword thing that's going, the pink sword. I don't know where he got it from, but that's crazy as well. As you can see, Trunks is a lot stronger as well. Usually, he can't even handle an attack from Black Goku, and he's, he's already, like, blocking it as well. And you can see, obviously, his aura is, like, really, really high as well. And, wow, he just threw him back and, like, blew, up, blew some, like, rocks into him. And same with Zamazu. That's a pretty great combination by both of them. And Black Goku keeps coming back. And as you know, Zamazu just walks up like a creep. And just starts staring at them. But I like how they like made this. Because in a way it's kind of cool. Because you see both of them tag teaming and fighting each other's backs. Oh. 
Oh wow, the two beams too, just going back and forth. Damn, yo, Goku's really getting his number done. Black Goku's literally just throwing him apart. He knows how to dodge at least, that's good. Oh, snap. Oh, he just used instant transmission. What a crazy, like, move, yo. Damn, Goku really has his days for, numbered for him. As you can see, Samazu looks just as really strong, too. And wow, he can just, like, somehow, like, survive a sword through his, like, chest. That's pretty insane as well. So as you guys can see, like, you know, you guys can go on the link and, you know, just see the fight. Obviously, like, just, go, like, right on YouTube, Goku and Trunks vs. Black Goku and Zamazu. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, basically, a lot of things are going on about in the Dragon Ball Z universe. Um, a lot of things are happening, whereas, you know, uh, Trunks and uh, Zamazu are having a bout and Goku and uh, um, Black Goku are having a bout. But in the end of this episode... It's pre pretty evident that Zamazu and Black Goku have the upper hand, and they're gonna go in the future. And like you know, Vegeta, Goku, and Trunks really have to train. I really hope like Trunks reaches the Super Saiyan Blue state, because it's kind of cool to see like Saiyans go on and beyond like the regular limitations of a Super Saiyan three. And I like how they were doing that with Vegeta. But like, let's see if his Trunks can make the cut and actually become a Super Saiyan Blue. Also, I feel that, like, you know, in this universe, the Beerus is still there, so the Supreme Kai is not dead. And, um, you know, uh, uh, Zamazu doesn't have the upper hand because the second Sup uh, uh, the Supreme Kai is dead, or one of the Kais is dead, Beerus is dead. So, mainly, you know, you have to kind of save the Kai so Beerus can just live and, you know, destroy everyone because he's Beerus' destroyer. And, like we said, they come in a package. So, I think, like, Zamazu really does destroy Beerus in this timeline. And this other Goku, I don't think it's Zamazu or Goazu. I don't know. I looked up rumors. They're saying it's some demon from the Exo universe. I don't know if that's a spoiler or if that's true. But it looks maybe unlikely, maybe likely, because, I don't know, Goazu seems, like, too believable. And it's, it'll be kind of disappointing to see an old man inside of Goku, especially an old man that strong. So, I think it's some, someone just as evil as Frieza, if not worse, um, some demon or something. But it's 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 really interesting to see because the way they made this, um, everyone's just trying to guess who Black Goku is. No one really gives a shit about Zamazu. Zamazu just has some revenge against Goku because he's human and he has characteristics of a human, but he's just really strong and Zamazu hates that. But um, let's see what happens and continue on to the next episode and, um, you know, Guys, I really think that Trunks needs to become stronger and, uh, you know, Vegeta has to stop dying so much because he's already a Super Saiyan Blue. But overall, I really did like this episode and I really hope you guys enjoyed my review. And this is a Batwave and I'm out. Peace.